decks. I'm gonna play my showcase list now, I think. Actually, I can't because I, I need to change. We need to do this first. We need to change um, two sidebar cards. We need to replace the brutalities because they were banned yesterday due to the magic online crash they cause. So what do we want to play instead of those? Let's take a peek at what we could do. So I want to try Pithing Needle I think. And what else? It's just to weather the storm. It's the closest to um like like the brutality we get. I really hope that um people aren't going crazy on on burn now since brutality is no longer illegal in modern. Right, this might take a minute until we get the cards and then we can go into a league. Also, what's currently very, very annoying. So there was this function, um, update all versions. So let's say you get the extended border Ragavan you only have the normal border rug I want that your rental account gives you you could just switch this with a single simple click and that has been disabled for magic on and I don't know why So literally what we have to do now is go through every card that isn't in the right version and replace it by hand. So whenever I switch decks, I have to do this for the deck I'm playing. And this is just so annoying because it could be so much easier. Thank you. 
Oh, it's still missing. Now I'll spam up in the sideboard. Pithing needle in the sideboard. And chalice in the sideboard. And now we're good to go. Finally. Alright, back to my own lists. After we've played uh, Respect the Cats 1. Respect the Cats. I should probably change the stream decker if it's working today. Alright, round one. There we go. Oh, this should be Belcher, I think. I don't mind playing against Belcher. Um, obviously, our game one is pretty bad. But I don't mind playing it. Alright, we can't really mana screw them, so let's just take Belcher. And then I think we want to slam Fable on turn 3. So we can dig for more interaction. Ideally we find Red and 6 plus Buzeju. That would be the easiest way to victory. There's a run in six.
So I think what happened hand is um, Valakut Awakening. They want to use at the end of turn, so we kind of have to hope they don't. They don't draw into into Belgian next turn. I'm just gonna slam Fable again. Stick for my interaction. Even even more discard is is really good. Okay, they got rid of four cards. So I think they pretty safely got rid of those. And it's between one of us. They only have one of those two left. But I think they, they kept the, the feet. Alright, do your worst opponent. I have nothing. Well, we have a plan. They don't ever draw into Edger. That's our plan. I oh, have another Pirate Ritual. I accidentally clicked that away. That's for. I think we kill them next turn. So we have to dodge pretty much exactly for one turn that they draw into Belcher. Alright, Belcher bust. Oh, they, they drew their draw 7 spell. I wanna make a stop in, in the draw step, I think. If I drop a Zeichu, I'd rather use it. We didn't. Alright, so against Belcher, Bozage is obviously very good. Now we have Pity in the sideboard, which is also very, very strong against Belcher. Uh, Haywire Mike could be good. Should at least be better than some of the removal spells we have. I think that's about it. Okay, this has literally nothing. No disruption. Okay, let's keep this one, I suppose. They have Leyline. Yeah, if they have Leyline, we might get a little creative here. Oh, they have Leyline. Yeah, back to Lilian and Fury. Um, okay, we're definitely gonna play Saga on one. I wanna get to Pithy Needle as soon as possible. What's wrong with uh, Lilianas and Furies?
Good job. So this is this is um, a level deeper than Boltegoy. Bolte because with Saga, Liliana don't work so good. Oh come on, really? That's sad. Um, I disagree. I think the deck works just fine. And I'd recently even made a pretty extensive Facebook post that I'd argue the mana is actually better if you play Saga because you don't have to be as careful with your life total. So you can fetch more aggressively, you can, like, it's not a problem to go fetch Thoughtseize, uh, fetch shock, Thoughtseize, fetch shock, go to 12 on turn 2. Well, you would have been good if you had a green source. So I'd argue the mana base is, is actually better if you play Saga. Yeah, I think Liliana is still good in the format. Others would disagree and think Liliana is unplayable. But I, I strongly think Liliana is still perfectly fine to play. Like, she does its job in the fair matchups. I think we are dead. Never mind. They screwed up. So not only did they they try, not only did they try to spike field hazard the O1 golf, they also shatter skull smashing the four five golf. And two times they got dragged by state-based effects. Talk about a learning experience. Yeah, paid actors everywhere. Seems fine to me. Blue red mark tight.
That's bad that they drew exactly consider here. So my plan was to go Soul Guide Lantern next turn. Oh, thank God. I thought they can just mark Titus here. Oh, please don't have Unholy Heat. Yeah, that's just a monkey, that's fine. Alright, alright. We got this. So... I wanna, I think... Go Pirate Spell Bomb the monkey right away. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play Selgard Lantern here, so that's out of the question. Bruh. Doesn't really matter. This would be a 6-6 mark tide currently. I think I'm just gonna exile the yard. The huge tempo gain. Okay, sure. I think they're gonna take K command. At least they should be taking K command. Okay, I think we can keep this. Honestly, I think I'm just taking Archmage's Charm. Even though, like, they're two lands away from casting that. But I really don't care about the rest. Okay, so they are drawing a land next turn. Which means it's just fine to let this resolve and try to ping Renin 6. I uh, try to ping uh, DRC with Renin 6. Okay, that's fine. Let's push this.
Okay, that's fine. We can just clear that with Lily Plus again. And they just realized. Okay, there's some very quick games to the 2 0. Round three on the draw. With a perfectly reasonable hand. Let's keep it. Amulet, you see. Yeah, not gonna lie, we have a very good hand against emul Amulet with Lilies and Discard spells. Never mind, it's Mono Blue Tron. Because why wouldn't it be? Alright, taking on this card, I think this member here. And then search out whatever Trumpies. Never mind, it just got repeal. just cycle this right away because if I draw a land I can also just cycle pirate spell bomb It's free to plus Lily here to discard the Thought Seize, so let's just do that. Another half to crack O-Stone. Alright, dodge the first turn. Okay, I think Lily is too slow in this case. That's some good draws though. Okay, let's dodge one more turn. Play Ragavan, make a token, and then I think we can draw step K. 
cake among them. I guess they can always bounce a Waro if they want to keep the card they have. I wonder if they want to go for bridge here. That kind of makes sense. Another fable. So we can beat a warm card engine. I don't think that's that's that big of a deal. So why don't we make a token? Then I guess we grab research desk here. Beat Karn. And just pass. That's a little bit inconvenient. Should have maybe not played my fetch land there. If this is Ugin, I'm just conceding. Yeah. Okay. You got us. Usually against strong I'd like to bot like this. Yeah, you could bot a needle. I didn't because mostly I'm usually not playing the needle in the sideboard. It's just basically in there because we can't play brutality. But you're right, you could bot a needle for sure.
If they have natural Tron, I don't think we can ever beat this, so... Let's just pretend they don't have natural. And just slam. I mean, they are mono blue Tron. There's, there's a chance they don't have it. Alright, so now that just have a warm color engine we have to beat. Which is definitely possible. So I think what I wanna do is minus on the warm coil here. Now if they want to clear Lily, they at least have to commit both of their, of their worms. Mm. Really academy ruins. Really. So you're saying we have to deal with warm color engines over and over again? If we drop a Zeju, we still have a shot at winning this. Take a while, but we can get there. Okay, that's fine. I'm a rich man, I own many lands.
Okay, I don't think there's any value in keeping Venom 6 around at this point. Okay. I'm willing to concede. Okay, sure. Mark that again. That is amazing against Murktide. So first things first, we're gonna ping the DRC. And the next thing depends on what they do. They're gonna clear Ren, I think, here. Okay, let's um, thought seize them first. Oh, that's some strong hand. Okay. I think I'm taking Ledger Shredder. And play Goyf. And next turn we can play Saugat Lantern and basically keep them off Delirium forever. I was playing around Spell Pierce, but who could have known they just have Spell Snare in their list. Okay, so no attacks. But Spelsen is pretty narrow. I think Spell Pierce is overall just better. They might be on 4 Spell Pierce still. Oh, that's a pretty dope draw.
So I think we just stay back for one more turn. So this is 10 damage. That's fine. So now pretty much only Merktide would give them a shot. But I think we can even deal with Merktide. Merktide would be 6. Yeah, I think 6 is fine. I, I thought Mogolf is still will still be larger than Merktide. Now even more so. Well, that's a bold attack. So we did the draw dress down. I think everything short of dress down will not get them heat there. Okay, that's fine. That's that's not gonna do it for them. Right, let's go Lily here. Clear the board. And then I'm also gonna exile their yard. Then not gonna wait for it. Okay, as long as our opponent is sideboarding, I'm gonna take a short bathroom break, so be right back. Alright, here we are again. I think we can keep this, even though we're missing red mana for the moment.
the fuck? Why? Okay, I'm gonna take unlicensed task here because it's the most annoying one. I mean, I know why you would board in Orwa. Uh, the kinda counters Lily's plus one. But Lily has a secret mode. You never use her plus one. Okay, there's red mana. There isn't really any point in playing Ragavan here. So I think we just play Spring Leaf Drum and just pass. They might upgrade this. They might not care. Okay, I shouldn't have fetched there, obviously. Slight misstep. It's gonna be fine. I want to push over using Unholy Heat because Heat could kill Merc Tide, whereas Push can't. Okay, sure. Let's just take heat, it's the more efficient removal spell they have. So what does Orwa actually do when they play it? Okay, so it copies their instant and sorceries. I thought about playing around Blood Moon there. W when I had the foothills, I thought about m I might need to get forest with it. It's not the end of the world. We still have Swamp and we have Springleaf Drum and we have a Ragavan. Well, it's just a little annoying. I can't mark that unfortunately, I only have one blue. Six six mark type, definitely would have gone for it. attack I guess I wonder why they didn't upgrade at the end of turn. Yeah, 
Okay, sure. If they take it, they die. Okay. Well, now the last gun in their hand is over. Well, I guess you can play one of the lands. Since if you drop Fury, I kind of want to cast it. Something about Fury. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna put this on top. On the play, this might be good enough. Creativity, huh? So I think they have Brennan 6 in hand for turn 2. Looks like run and six to me. Okay, so I'm gonna play Fable of the Mirror Breaker and then hopefully we can attack Ren but hold it down. But this is gonna be a tough game. Tough game to win.
Okay, let's start system. See what's up. And then decide how to proceed with the turn. Oh boy. So we can't have upper lily, that's for sure. I kind of think we just have to take one of the creativities. And then maybe the next Thoughties can grab the second one. Because they can't combo us here. Okay, so I think this token is gonna die. And probably the next one as well. So why don't we go make another token? And then I think I want to grab I write spell bomb. Oh, not part of the bomb. I want to grab spring leaf drum because I need the mana. So let's play. Go for Thoughtseize first. Because that pauses the hand. So let's say they wanna. I guess they can't ice something. They could fire something. So they could fire reflection. Okay, that's fine. They could also fire the second construct now. Okay, and so now we play Tamagoyf. And next turn, so they're probably gonna Leyline Binding away the Tamagoyf, I think. But now we can pressure Ren.
Okay, interesting that they choose to go for the construct here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Hey, I hope I get the name right. Jepita04. Thank you for the follow. Go Raga one on one. Even if it dies, this hand is very, very, very strong. The opponent went down to five already. Never mind, Dragavan dies. I was sure I was gonna survive. Not gonna lie. Good luck, anyways.
How about we keep a hand full of this card when our opponent has literal nothing? I thought they were they were gonna keep a hand with like two lands and a run and six. Let's try if they if they drew Fable I wanna I wanna grab it. Okay, they didn't, it's also fine. Okay, first things first, let's attack. So in a perfect world, they just drew creativity and just immediately tried to combo. So I think we kind of have to kill the token here. Even if, like, if we don't, they have so many targets for our creativity to draw, so our removal spell doesn't really do anything. And this way, we at least get to connect with Ragavan. I doubt we will hit something, but we might as well try. We got lucky there. So they did in fact have creativity. I thought about equipping my Ragavan with Shadow Spear just to play around the Ren. So now we need to draw land, I guess, for Fury. Hmm. 
That qualifies as a land. The question now is should we wait a turn to kill the Fable of the Mirror Breaker? I think we do. So I wasn't going to kill Ren and Fable, it's just kill kill the Fable, deal as much damage to Ren as possible. And then we're just gonna run the Ren over. They're gonna get lands no matter what. So either they get another land here, or they have Fable of the Mirror Break on the board. You pick what's the, the worst option for us. Might as well send back um, the black leaf cliffs. Okay, so they either have a reflection of Kiki Jiki or they will have another dwarven mine. So what's what's the better creature in your opinion? Because it's it's not about like, if we kill Ren, they won't have either. So I'd rather have them with another Dwarf than a Reflection. And Fable, by the way, would have targets. They could just copy their Dwarves. I think I just want to attack them here. It's a two turn clock. So if I, if I was going to to ignore Red anyways, it was better to play the turn earlier. But I didn't know that that prior.
Well, that, that's not a good sign. Take that creativity in hand. Never mind. They could have fire eyes, I suppose. Step down, Fury. Okay. Leyline binding. Leyline binding it is. So we should still have lethal next turn. Okay, so I don't think I want to grab Pirate's Bab in this case. I'd rather go with uh, Research Desk. We might as well equip. We're not gonna use the mother other on otherwise anyways. Okay, so they could hardcast Arkin. Which I think they're gonna do.
Oh man. Do we still have a bolt left in the deck? Doesn't actually matter because they're gonna gain three life. to find heat that's pretty much it and they aren't allowed to have anything else that's not a heat So if we somehow manage to win this game, our opponent is never going to finish the third. Yep, we are dead. Once again, got crushed by affinity, uh, by um, creativity. All right, that's going to be it for the night. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna find somebody to raid and then do some shoutouts. Is Mistaken still streaming? They are, so let's raid them. Alright, you can find me on Twitter and YouTube if you enjoy my content on YouTube there is like basically every stream goes on there and a couple of YouTube exclusive videos like the showcase challenge for example and yeah that's gonna be it for the night without um without much to add so enjoy the evening say hi to mistaken from me and um hope to see you guys soon cheers